Welcome back to the Brickball YouTube channel, ladies and gents, boys and girls. We are carrying on our series of the last first five round picks in the previous years they've had a first round pick. So it, for the Steelers, they didn't have a 2020 first round pick, but we go back to 2015, nice and easy. Um, skip straight into it, straight yeah. into it, let's go. So firstly, we have Devin Bush, a stud linebacker part of their system where they blitz everyone and yeah good part of the Steelers defense he is the second best Devin to come out of that draft Devin White is definitely the better player but you can't blame them he got <coughs> taken before himself so mm -hmm. um, his stats might not be the most impressive but you got to remember he would be splitting stats with a lot of good players in that pass yeah. rush with TJ Watt with Bud Dupree and Mink Fitzpatrick, so yeah, and it's decent. Un it's man. unfair to judge their year two stats, bearing in mind he tore his ACL five games in yeah. the season. Yeah, so he only played five games. Yeah, but in this first season, he was drafted 10th overall out of Michigan. Uh, he's played 21 games so far, he started 20 of them. He's managed to rack up two picks, seven passes defended, a false fumble with four returns, as well as 135 combined tackles in them two seasons. So it's not bad considering he's only played what? 20 games like I said um, he was in the running for defensive rookie of the year in his first season as well um, he had, I mean, that, that, that says how good you've been he, he runs like a, like a wide receiver as well um, and he's very close uh, to close uh, pass coverage gaps uh, he's very determined as well and give this guy a full season in not his rookie year, so year three now. Give him a full season. I look forward to see what sort of numbers he's racking up. Yeah, I mean, you see first year tackle machine. Yeah. 106 combined. On to the next. On to the next. Next button ain't working. There we go. There we go. You take Terrell, cool. I'll get angry to all that. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, brother to Tremaine, both of them taken in 2018 first round, and I think it was more of a surprise that Terrell was taken, considering he was considered, uh, I think, the eighth best linebacker in the draft in 2018. Safety. Safety, sorry. Not draft. Uh, yes, yeah, eighth best safety in the draft, um, and he went first round out of Virginia Tech, he's played 47 games, started 43 of them, uh, 251 combined tackles which isn't bad, but his drafting drew, uh, drew criticism because of the state, we didn't know knew what the Steelers were up to, uh, the, the tape didn't back him up as a first round pick, especially when compared to his brother, he's definitely not a first round pick even though he's had his own problems with Tremaine. Uh, in his first season the criticism was justified because his uh, pass coverage was poor uh, when he was asked to play free safety but when they traded for Minka Fitzpatrick when he came uh, he's now moved to strong safety and he's had a bit of a resurgence the 2019 was his best year in terms of uh, tackles 2020 had a bit of a decline but if I mean my last two words and the notes on this guy is that he's been okay and that's the best thing I can say he hasn't been great he hasn't been bad he's just been okay yeah I mean, when you see on Twitter, the first person that Steelers fans are usually slating is Terrell Edmonds, because yeah. he might get burnt on a play. He does get carried a bit by Minka yeah. Fitzpatrick, but an average player, definitely not the first round pick, so we give it no. a C plus. Yeah, C plus is fair. Next up, TJ Watt, a great home run pick. One of the best picks of the last few years. Third linebacker taken, and clearly, the best one. Mm -hmm. um, last year was his breakout season, 15 sacks, two forced fumbles and a 90 PFF rating. Ever since he's come into the league, he's been plug and play guy, three time pro bowler and he was in the running for defensive player of the year. Yeah. He got votes, but um, obviously Alan Donald won. Yeah, he should have won. Um, he went to Twitter to rant about that, but you can't yeah. deny TJ Watt is a very, very good player. Yeah. Uh, considering he's in his fourth season as well, I was going to say year four stats, but nah, whatever. Yeah, so again, year four stats are they're, they're brilliant. Fifteen sacks, and since he's been in the season, uh, been in the NFL, he's recorded forty nine and a half sacks, uh, two hundred and thirty combined tackles. He's had an upward trajectory ever since, in terms of sacks, since year one. I think year one he had seven, and he's gone from ten to thirteen to fifteen. Uh, he's been 
he, he was robbed. He was robbed of Defensive Player of the Year, I would say. I don't think Aaron Donald deserved it compared to him. There's no disrespect to Aaron Donald, but this guy was just brilliant. He's hit the quarterback 111 times since he's been in the league as well. His uh, edge presence is definitely felt. He's very consistent. Um, his determination, the ability as well is there. He, when teams double team him to, to prevent him from block, from prevent him to the quarterback, he still gets past them like it's nothing. Um, and he always prevails. Uh, this, this edge presence is felt and he's going to be there for a long time. Yeah. And it's even more impressive when he's not the biggest athlete or the quickest. No, definitely not. He just he just knows how to get he's, to the quarterback. He's, like his brother, up. he's just tough. Very yeah. tough. So next up, I'll let you take this amazing I've, draft pick. I haven't got anything. I've hardly got anything for him. But to be fair, <laughs> he's actually started 58 games. So he's played in 58 games. He started 32 of them. He had an okay rookie season, and then the off season from his rookie got arrested for uh, I think it was driving without a, proper, without a valid license. Came back in year two, which is stupid. He came back in year two, and he just went to pot. The zone coverage awful. Can't defend the run. He was dropped in year three for bad performances. He has bad technique. He can't stop big plays happening against him. He gives away too many penalties. And he spent the year five there, spent his last year on the Steelers uh, on special teams. Uh, we've, we've, we've actually got no stats for him. He was that bad, we had put no stats apart from special teams. Yeah. That's it. That's all, that's all I can say. <laughs> and then it makes it look even worse when the corner taken directly after was Xavier Howard. 13 picks after. He's got the most picks this year. So 13 picks after and you've gone from an A to an A+. Plus. Yeah, and you've got the guy that's on special teams yeah. only to the guy with the most interceptions. Yeah. So, good pick, Steelers. It's going to be very good. <laughs> but Dupree. Uh, she probably made the B plus green. Yeah, but the, but, yeah, but the B plus, it's. It's kind of. Now they let him go, yeah, it's it, not as good as a pick. It's, it's almost like you're looking back on what you're missing now when he's. Because last season when he was injured, I think he. What was it? He tore his. Was it his ACL he tore? So he had a really bad injury. I think it was his ACL, um, and the Steelers' defense didn't look the same after he left. Uh, they were consistent throughout the entire season. I think it was 11 and 0, and they finished the season 12 and 4. Um, so he was drafted out of Kentucky. He's 66 starts in 81 games, 39 and a half sacks. Bear in mind, he was injured for quite a bit of time as well. So that's very impressive. 231 tackles. Um, he drew criticism as well, like are you, uh, like Terrell Edmonds, that he wasn't first round worthy, uh, and then he, he was that criticism was justified in uh, up, up until the 2019 season when they moved him from left to right outside linebacker, and then since then he's created a brilliant, brilliant duo with T.J. Watt up until this season, obviously where he's now signed with the Titans, but. I think a B plus is fair considering he had a very rough start and a very yeah. unfortunate ending in the way it ended. But they were considering a franchise tag for Bud Dupree, but because of the salary cap as well, I just I think it's best to just take your losses and appreciate him for what he's done in yeah. the five years. It's hard to grade really. He's had some good moments, but they haven't really got a lot out of him you know, for five years. So. Yeah, especially with the slow start. If, if he was consistent, he could get a new contract regardless of that ACO injury, but it's just so unfortunate. Yeah. So that wraps it up. That wraps it up indeed. That was the last five. Oh, rapid minutes. fire. That was rapid fire. I don't, I don't, I don't Nine know. minutes. Nine minutes, yeah, that's quick. I think it's because oh, he burns to clips. I, you didn't say anything for him. <laughs> I've got um, nothing to say. Overall. TJ Watt hit, Devin Bush hit, Bud Dupree hit, Artie Burns massive bust, and Terrell Edmonds frustrating. Yeah, well, with the Steelers, you always think they know how to develop defensive pieces, yeah. especially with Mike Tomlin as head coach. Yeah, they've got a brilliant head coach, brilliant backroom staff, brilliant defence. Yeah, just and they're, they're a clever franchise, they are. but very, very annoying. Well, um, I think we can cut in some slack now that Juju's not there anymore. Yeah, right. We'll, we'll if Juju the goes, then I respect the Steelers a bit more. There's a chance he stays, so I think he's off. Yeah. But anyway, we, yeah. we'll end up blagging for ages. Yeah. <laughs> Next <laughs> will be the final team in AFC yeah. North. We need two divisions in already, and that will be the best the team in the division. Cincinnati Bengals, where they've missed and. Uh, you don't give it away. You'll find out. You'll find out in part eight of our series. Yeah. But until then, see you later, guys. <laughs>